writing, we're learning to create a character by describing characteristics and giving the character opinion. Your job today is going to be to create another character. This character should somehow be related to the first character that we've been making for the past two days. So when you create this character, it's going to be very similar to last time, where you need to include at least one detail from each section. Use some feedback from your first character to help you add to this one. I have already done this, and I'm going to go through and explain some of the things that I have here. So if we looked, if we look, I gave the character the name Cleo. In the story that we read, though, the character didn't actually have a name, and it was just the narrator. Relation to the other character, Cleo, or the narrator, helps her. So maybe I write helper, maybe I write sidekick. Some of the narrator's likes, she likes attention. I said she likes chocolate chip cookies, because who doesn't like chocolate chip cookies? And she likes sunny days. She doesn't like snakes. She doesn't like being late to school. She doesn't like doing homework. The only thing from here that I have already written down that's important to our story is that she likes attention. None of these other things really come into our story. Some basic facts about Cleo. She loves unicorns. She's ridden horses, and she wants to be famous. All of those things do come up in our story. Her appearance, I think, when I picture her, she has long brown hair, and she has brown eyes, and she's pretty tall. Her fears, she doesn't like snakes. She's afraid of snakes. That's why it's in her dislikes. Her actions, I think she's kind of a class clown. She likes to do things that are fun and funny and entertaining to other people, but even though it might get in the way sometimes. And she likes riding horses. Her motivation... Her motivation to help the unicorn, to help Kara, is to get attention and be famous. We know from reading the story that actually at the end, her motivation is just to be helpful. But in the beginning, her real motivation is attention and fame. And Kara, uh, sorry, Cleo, is just a normal girl. She's just waiting at the, at the bus stop, waiting for her bus to come. So she actually is not fantasy by herself. She's not a fantasy character, but what makes this a fantasy story is that she sees the unicorn and she helps the unicorn. Your job today is to be is to create a second character for your story that somehow relates to your first character. Maybe your first character was a sidekick and this is the main person. Maybe your first character was um, a villain, and this is someone that's going to go against the villain. Maybe they're friends, maybe they're against each other. It's up to you. Think about how this person, this second character, can relate to your first character in the story. Again, filling in more information is definitely going to help you when we're writing our story and coming up with some kind of problem.